Hi everyone, it's me Terry from the Yarn Joy podcast and this is my very first video tutorial. In today's video I want to show you how what is my favorite go-to join-as-you-go method for joining squares together, uh, specifically um, granny squares. Okay, so uh, now this is not my method that I invented. Um, I believe it may it's called the flat braid join method but this is my favorite go-to method and I've had people ask me um, how I do it and so I wanted to go ahead and make this video and have it on my YouTube channel so then that way you, uh, people can find it okay so uh, all I did was I made some granny squares some four round granny squares okay and I'm going to use these to demonstrate this method. Okay, so for your very when you're going to start this and you have your very first granny square, you take your yarn. Now you want to have uh, um, this is like the border color that you want to use that you'll be using around all of them to to tie them together. Okay, so I go into my first corner and I just join or I pull up a loop and then I make a sorry make sure I'm in the camera here so I pull up a loop and I make a one chain to lock it into place to attach my yarn okay okay now I'm gonna go back into that same ho um, hole there and I'm going to make a single crochet okay let me zoom up just a little bit I think it'll be easier for you to see okay so let's see if this works okay so we have one single crochet in there now I'm going to chain three so one two three and then I'm going to single crochet again back into the same hole in that corner space okay now I'm going to chain one okay and then for this one uh, normally what you do all the way across is we're going to put a stitch into every other stitch across but for the first one since you have these two stitches in that corner um, pretty much this single crochet pretty much to me it covers up the the very first stitch in this three uh, double crochet grouping on the granny square and so I for this first one I usually go ahead and um, skip two stitches the first one the second one and go into this third one okay just because the, um, it would be really close if you put it in that in the second one so I go ahead and see so I chain one and then I'm going to skip that stitch actually I'm going to skip the first two like I said and I'm going to go into this which is the last double crochet of the shell and I'm going to do a single crochet okay and then chain one and then now it works up where I'm going to uh, what I did with these granny squares I put chain ones in between the shells and so I'm going to skip that chain one space because that, that's like a space that I'm uh, like a stitch that I'm counting and then I'm going to go into the first double crochet of the next shell and do a single crochet and then chain one and then I'm going to skip the next stitch and then uh, single crochet into the next one chain one now I'm to the the next chain space so I'm going to skip that one I'm count, counting it like a stitch and I'm going to get single crochet into the next stitch which happens to be the first double crochet in that shell so I do a single crochet there chain one skip the second this this stitch the next stitch and then single crochet in the next one chain one and then I'm going to skip the this chain and put a single crochet into the next one chain one and then now this one see if I only skipped one stitch I would be putting a stitch right here into that last single crochet but I need to get into the corner so this one I'm actually uh, skipping two stitches and I'm going to single crochet into that corner space okay so single crochet there 
And so now that I'm in the corner, I'm going to, instead of chain one, I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to single, single crochet back into that corner space. Okay, so we've got our, there's our first side, okay? So now we're going to do the same thing all the way around, okay? So I'll do this next side with you, and then I'll let you do the other two sides um, by yourself. <laughs> okay, so here we are in the in the corner, and we have the chain, I mean, single crochet, chain three, single crochet there in the corner. Okay, so now we're going to chain one. And like I said, for these first, the very first one, I go ahead and skip these two first two, the first two <laughs> stitches, and I'm going to single crochet into the the third double crochet of that shell, and then chain one. Now we're going to skip that chain one space, and we're going to single crochet into the next space, next space. Okay, chain one. And then we're going to skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next one. Chain one, skip this sh uh, this chain space and single crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip this stitch, single crochet in the next one. Chain one, skip the chain, single crochet in the first stitch. Uh, double crochet of that shell okay and then remember what I told you what chain one okay now remember what I told you that now we're wanting to end up in the corner space and so for this one I'm actually going to be skipping two stitches and then I single crochet into the corner space okay and then since we're in the corner space we're going to chain three between the stitches instead of chaining one so one two three and then single crochet back into the corner space okay so that and then we're going to chain one okay and then remember I'm going to skip two stitches there to get to me to the third double crochet of that shell okay then chain one and then okay so then we're going to keep going that's where we're going to go across uh, this row and then we're going to go across this row and then um, I will meet you up where we're going to join here okay okay so continue on if you have to rewind and and watch me do these other sides again to get the stitch down uh, feel free to do that and I'll meet you up where we're gonna end up when we get end up back at the beginning of our round okay Okay, so we have now went around all three sides of my square, okay, and now I'm right back at the beginning again, okay. So I did a single crochet into that first double crochet of that uh, shell stitch, and then I chained one, okay, and now I would, I'm going to skip those two and I'm going to go into the corner. Well, normally that's how we would do it, but see, we've already done the corner um stitches the single crochet chain three single crochet and so for this one all I have to do is after I chain one after that single crochet then I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet of that round and that will end our round okay so I'm going to go into let's see if you see that you're going to go into that single crochet and you're going to do a slip stitch okay and now I've finished I've completed my whole entire round see okay okay so now round two is what we're gonna do next okay so we always want to get into the corner to start and so right now I'm above that single crochet so I want to slip stitch into the very next with well, this chain three space so that way we'll be into the chain three space see that okay so now this round is the last round that you have to do um, to start your for your border okay um, so this is the round that you'll be working on and uh, sometimes you'll have to connect them to pre the other squares um, and I'll show you how to do that okay so but for the, for for, for, <laughs> for your very first square you want to go ahead and go all the way around and do a whole complete square okay 
So for this one, for starting round two, we're now in, we slip stitched, we're now into this chain three space. So now I'm going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to slip stitch because on this row we're only doing chains and slip stitches. Okay, uh, the last previous row we were doing chains and single crochets. This one we're going to do we're going to be doing chains and slip stitches. Okay, so we slip stitched in there to get into that um, space and then we chain four and then now I'm going to slip stitch back into that corner space. Okay, okay, slip stitch. Okay, so now the last row we chained one between the single crochets on the sides. Well, this one we're going to chain two and then slip stitch. So from here, we're going to chain two. Okay, now we're going to skip the first single crochet and we're going to be working in these chain one spaces across. Okay, we're going to skip the single crochets. So in this first chain one space, we're going to do a slip stitch. Okay, then we're going to chain two and then we're going to slip stitch into the next chain one space chain two, slip stitch into the next chain one space. Okay, and you just keep doing that across until you get to the next corner. So chain two, slip stitch into the next chain two space. I mean chain one space, sorry. <laughs> chain two, slip stitch into the next chain one space. There, sorry, I might have been saying it wrong. Okay, chain two, slip stitch into the next chain one space chain two, slip stitch into the next chain one space, okay, chain two, slip stitch into the next chain one space, and we're now, I mean the chain three space, sorry, we're now into the corner, so we slip stitch into it, okay, so you're having, along these sides, you're having slip stitch, chain two, slip stitch, okay, so now we got into the corner and we slip stitch, but now instead of chaining two, we're going to chain four, okay, so one, two, three, and four, okay? And then we're gonna slip stitch back into that corner space, okay? So now we're gonna do the same thing on this over here that we did over here, okay? So on the sides, we're gonna do, we, we're going to chain two and then slip stitch into the chain spaces across, right? So you're gonna chain two slip stitch into this chain one space, chain two, oops, okay, slip stitch into the next chain two space, I mean chain one space, sorry, chain two, slip stitch into that chain space, <laughs> chain two, slip stitch into that chain space, chain two, Slip stitch, slip stitch into this chain two, a uh, chain one space, chain two, slip stitch into this chain space. I'll call it that. <laughs> chain two, slip stitch into this chain space. Okay, chain two, and now we're going to end the corner again. So in the corner, we're going to do chain. I mean, slip stitch, chain four, one, two, three, four and then slip stitch back in, okay? And then you're going to continue across. So then you're going to do this side, chain two, slip stitch into that chain space, chain two, slip stitch into that chain space, chain two, slip stitch into that chain space, okay, of the white that I did, okay? Do it all the way across. You go over here, you slip stitched here, chain two, slip stitch into that chain space, and then you're going to chain two and then slip stitch into the corner, okay and then you chain four and then slip stitch into that corner okay and then on the next side you would do the same thing except you have chain twos in between the slip stitches okay so if you need to rewind and uh, pause the video and rewind and see how I did that again if you could, if you need to if you hadn't caught on how I did it yet then uh, go ahead okay so for what but so what I'm going to do is, I've already finished the, this first square. Let me show you that one. 
It's this one right here. See that? So this has got the two rounds, just like what we were doing, okay? It's got the two rounds on the square, okay? And so I've completed it because the first square, you do both rounds of that edging complete, okay? So after you've got your completed square, then that's your first one, okay? Now, your next square, you're going to do the exact same thing that you did in the first one, okay? You're going to do the round one, which is the um, single crochet, chain three, and single crochet in the corner. Sorry, <laughs> right here. And then chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, and of course where the chain one is, you're skipping a space, except for the first one, remember you skip two, but you can rewind and, and do that part of the square um, along with my tutorial uh, to get you that far, okay? So, now I'm going to pretend like this one that I just did with you is my second square, because I've already done my first one, see? Okay? Uh, let me zoom out just a little bit. So, whoop, long way. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're going to do. So here's my first one. Here's the one, the second one, okay? Now, for this one, I'm going to show you how to attach, okay? So when you're going to attach a side, I need to go back just a little bit to get back to, to this corner, okay? Okay. So for this one, this is how you do if you're going to attach two squares together and this is the mo the simplest one because you're only having to attach just one side okay and that's it okay so um, you do you complete round one of your edging separate and then you you um, slip stitch into the corner piece just like we did over here slip stitch into that corner piece and then you um, do the slip stitch, chain four, slip stitch, and then chain two, slip stitch into the chain space, chain two, slip stitch into the chain space, and so on, until you get all the way to the next corner, okay? And then for this one, I went ahead and did an extra side, which is, uh, which is fine, because all you need to do is connect one side to this square, okay? And I always like to leave at least one side unworked that I can finish up after I do the connecting row, okay? So, um, let's work on that then. Okay, so... Here I am, I'm coming up to the corner. Let me zoom up a little bit so you can see. Okay, I think that'll work. So I'm gonna come to this corner, I'm gonna slip stitch into that corner, okay? And normally, we were gonna do, we would slip stitch, chain four, slip stitch, right? Okay, so this time, we're gonna slip stitch, chain two, and then we're gonna stop, okay? And now we're going to start connecting to our number one square, okay? So the way we do that is I'm going to go ahead and turn them this way because this is the direction that I like to work them in. <clears throat> so, oops, I'm not in the frame, sorry. Okay. So for this one, remember when I went into that corner, I chained two instead of chaining four, so I did like half of the loop, okay? So there I'm going to pull up the loop a little bit, take my hook out, okay? Now I'm gonna go into my number one square and find the corner loop, which is the chain four spaces, right? Okay, so I'm going to go into that square. I'm always gonna go into the square from the top to the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna put my hook into the that chain four loop from the top, to the bottom, right? And then I'm gonna go back and get this loop that I took the hook out of, and I'm gonna put that loop onto the hook, okay? And then I wanna pull up my yarn a little bit, the slack, and then I'm gonna pull that loop through that, uh, pull the, yes, pull the loop, loop through that four chain loop that I stuck my yarn through, I mean my hook through, and then I wanna chain one, and that's like locking it into place, okay? Now, 
uh, remember that normally this this um, the corners of that second round had a ch had chain four loops in the corners, right? Okay, so I did the first two before I um, looped it through the loop. Looped it through the loop, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, <laughs> looped it through, pulled it through this loop. Let's say that. Um, and so now to complete that four chain corner, I need to have two more chains, right? Because I did half of them over here. While looping it through there and locking it in place with a chain, that's my actually serves as my third chain of that chain four loop, okay? So I'm going to chain one more and that will be my chain, that will uh, be my chain four, right? And my, my, I mean my fourth chain, sorry. And then I'm gonna go back into the corner space of my number two square and I'm gonna do my slip stitch just like regular, okay? Now, I'm going to chain two, just like I'm going to go into the next uh, chain space, which would be right here, okay? But instead of going over there, I need to connect it to this square, okay? So, I'm going to pull my loop up, and then I'm going to take my hook out, and I'm going to go find the next loop. And you can kind of see them, because see how they make little, little um, scalloped edges, see? So that's where the loops are. So I'm going to go from top to bottom and I'm going to go into the next loop and I'm going to put my um, working loop, I guess you'd say, back on my hook, draw up my slack a little bit, and then I'm going to pull it through that loop, okay, like that. And then I'm going to chain one and lock it into place, okay. Now, remember the side the side chains of that second round had two chains in, in the in each loop, I guess you'd say. Remember, it's four chains in the corner and then two chains on the side. So this one, I did chain two before I went through that loop, and so I don't need to put any more extra chains, and I'm gonna go into this, my second square and connect it to this second loop there, see? And I'm gonna go top from the top down through the bottom, just like regular. I mean, just like I did over here, always from the top down to the bottom. And then I'm gonna just do a regular slip stitch, okay? So next one, chain two. See, there's my chain two. So I don't need any other extra chains before I connect to this one, except that I do one chain to lock my loop onto this uh, previous square. Okay, so I pulled my loop up, took my hook out. Now I'm looking for the next loop, which would be this one, okay? Corresponding loop. And then I, I go top to bottom with my hook, and then I loop the working yarn hoop, the working yarn loop, <laughs> and then I pull that through that chain space, okay? I chain one just to lock it into place, and then I go back into, and now I go into the next chain space on my second square from top to bottom, okay? And then I do a slip stitch to attach it. Okay, so chain two, now I just keep doing that all the way across, okay? So draw up a loop, take my hook out, go to my next one, my next loop on the number one square, and then I pick that loop back up, the working one, draw up the slack, pull it through the loop, I lock it into place with one chain, and then I go into the next chain space on my second square and do a slip stitch to attach it, okay? chain two, okay, and drop a loop, go to the next one, the next loop on number one square. <laughs> From the front to back, I pull my, put my hook through, I pick up the working yarn loop, I pull it back through that loop, chain one to lock it into place, and then slip stitch into the next chain loop, uh, loop, chain loop <laughs> of ch um, square number two. Chain one, no, sorry, chain two, and then I go into the next loop on number square number one from the front to the back, pick up my working yarn, draw up the slack, pull it through, chain to lock it into place, and then slip stitch into the next uh, loop on the number two, uh, no, yeah, number two square by slip stitching it to attaching it, okay? Chain two, 
draw up a loop or draw the loop up a little bit so you don't lose it and something and I will even kind of hold on to the this chain two just to make sure this is not going to go anywhere <laughs> okay and so then I go over here go to the next loop that I need to attach to from the front to back put my yarn my hook through put the loop back on my hook draw up the slack a little bit pull it through the loop chain one to lock it into place and then attach it on this side with a slip stitch into the next loop okay we're almost to the corner chain two go on the next loop which would be this one okay put it back on my hook pull it through chain one to lock it in and then attach it with a slip stitch over on this side okay chain two okay now I'm in the second to the last or the last one before the corner loop okay so I'm going to go front to back into the loop put my working loop back on the hook pull it through chain one to lock it into place and then I'm going to go into the corner space of this square number two with a slip stitch okay and now remember the chain loops that are in the corners are chain fours okay so here I'm going to chain two which is half of it okay pull it up hold on to it there get my hook and put it into the corner loop of my square number one put the loop back on my hook draw up the slack pull it through the loop chain one and that's going to act as my chain three of my chain four loop and so I need to chain one more to make the fourth chain and then I'll go back into that corner space with a slip stitch there okay so see now we have it attached okay so the only other thing we need to do now is since we started in this corner I need to go across this side right here and to finish it up okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so we're in the chain the the loop in the corner the corner loop right now so we need to chain two and then slip stitch into the chain that chain space there chain two slip stitch into the chain space that's all we have to do all the way across chain two slip stitch into the chain space Oops. chain two slip stitch into the chain space chain two slip stitch into the chain space okay chain two slip stitch into the chain space chain two slip stitch into the chain space chain two now now we're ready to go into the corner but this corner already has a slip stitch chain four slip stitch because it's our first one and so instead of slip stitching into the chain the corner so we don't need to do that we're going to slip stitch into the very first slip stitch okay and that will connect it okay so there and we do slip stitch okay and then that's it okay and then all we have to do now is to cut our yarn which I don't have my scissors here close <laughs> how unprepared am I <laughs> sorry so we're gonna cut our yarn and finish off okay and then we will have two let me zoom out here Oop, wrong direction again there you go so you see now we have two connected okay now I'm going to um, go ahead and work on this so what, the next thing you're gonna do is now you will pick your third your third square okay and you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna do round one which is single crochet um, in the corner chain three single crochet and then chain one single crochet by skipping two right and then then from there you're gonna do um, uh, single crochet chain one single crochet chain one and it, so rewind the tape rewind <laughs> it's like it's a tape uh, I'm old school <laughs> uh, reverse or go backwards whatever <laughs> and um, go back where I'm doing where I show you the first round one okay so if you need to do that so you're gonna do round one complete all the way around and then round two you're going to um, do um, the first side and then you'll stop and then you're going to connect so what I'm going to do go ahead and do the, your third one and um, go all the way around 
okay? And then um, you can continue on doing this where you're just chaining, you're gonna connect just one side just like I did this one, okay? And so you could do that, uh, you can either do that and do it the whole width of what you're wanting to do, okay? And then that's usually what I do. So it would be the same thing as I did here because you're only connecting one side. See that one seam and the rest is just regular, okay? And one seam and the regular, okay? Now, when you're going to start the second round, your, I mean the second row, your first one is going to be exactly the same because you're going to do round one of the edging and then round two you're going to get up to, um, you can do one side and then connect it and then finish the rest like the regular uh, border or you can do two sides just as long as you have one side free where you're going to do the regular type border without joining um, to get to the beginning okay um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, prepare this one and attach it because it's just got one seam just like we did this one okay so you can rewind it and and uh, follow it again if you need to okay so I'll meet you back when I have uh, this one go ahead and I'm going to finish it and connect it okay and then I will show you how you can you connect two sides because see when you're going to complete this you're going to have two sides that you have to connect and that's it so th and then the way you put your squares together you don't have to worry about doing uh, more than that and more than just joining two sides okay um, so let me get up to that point and you can also work across as much as you want or you can do these two and then uh, attach your third one here with just one seam okay so you can get to where I'm going to be so then you can see how I, we attach two sides okay and I'll meet you back when I get ready okay so as you can see I put I've got three squares attached um, to each other okay so now just like this, this one, I did this one where I only had to attach one side. So this would be like I'm starting the second row of my blanket, okay? So the very first one, you do exactly like these other ones where you just attach one side, okay? So now I'm going to show you how when you have one here that you have to attach two sides, okay? So I've got my fourth square here, and I went ahead and did the round one, Okay, and this what this round one is doing is, let me zoom up a little bit here. Okay, so this round one, what it's doing is creating the loop stitches, which is the chain one spaces, and that's what we use to uh, do the attaching back and forth between the squares, okay? So I'm finishing up the round one of that border, and so I'm up to where I'm going to go into the chain, uh, chained one, and I'm going to go into this corner space space although well normally I would but see when I started I put the complete set the chain and the single crochet chain three single crochet I put that all into the corner stitch already and so all I need to do is slip stitch into the first single crochet so let me do that okay now I'm going to slip stitch into the loop the corner loop so that I can get into the corner okay now remember from now on we're gonna do in the corner we're gonna do slip stitch chain four slip stitch in the corners but then in this along the side we're gonna do chain two slip stitch into these loops that we made in round one right the chain one loops so we're gonna do uh, let me go ahead and do the corner so I already slip stitched in there so now I'm gonna chain four one two three Four. I'm going to slip stitch back into the corner okay and then now I'm ready to go down the side so chain two slip stitch into the chain one space all right so chain two slip stitch into the chain one space okay chain two slip stitch into chain one space and keep going across chain two slip stitch into the chain one space chain two slip stitch into the chain one space chain two okay just like we've been doing slip stitch into the chain one space chain two slip stitch into the chain one space chain two okay now we're going into the corner so slip stitch 
Okay, now remember the corner is slip stitch, chain four, slip stitch, okay? But now I'm gonna get, now that I've done one complete side, this is the way I usually do it. I do round one all the way around, and then I, when I'm gonna do round two of this border, I will do one side of it from one corner to the next corner, and then I stop, okay? And then if I'm gonna, if I'm going to only have to uh, connect one side then I'll do that side being connecting and then I'll finish around here like I did the regular which is slip stitch chain two into the loop and you're not connecting anything okay now if I have to chain um, connect two sides sorry then I, I do that so I always know I will do one side regular and then I'll start doing my connecting. So here I'll be connecting two sides, this side and this side, and then I'll have one side remaining, see, to get down to um, where I'm going to finish off. Okay, so as a rule, that's what I do. On the second row, I'll just do one side and then I'll start the connecting, okay? So, I'm into that corner, and now I'm going to start the connecting. The, con the corners has chain four. In okay, so now, we have these one row done, and then I've got one side of round two. So I'm going to start connecting it. Okay, so let me bring this forward so you can see both the edges there. This right here, of course, would be an end that I will be weaving in, but... I'll just put that under there for right now. Okay, so um, I'm in the corner, so I'm gonna chain two, getting ready to do the chain four loop, right? Okay, so chain two, now I'm pull up a loop, and go down into the corner loop from the front to the back, just like I did before, okay? And then hook my loop up there, pull it uh, tight, not tight, but you know, pull up the slack, and then bring it through that loop. I'm gonna chain one, To lock it into place and remember this is a chain four loop and so I need to chain another one to complete that loop and then go into the corner okay now chain two okay now I'm going to find my second loop which would be Sorry, that straggler. I should have weaved it in. I didn't. Okay, now I moved it out of the way. So the second loop is right there, okay? So I'm going to go from front to back, underneath there. I'm going to pick up my loop, draw it, draw up the slack, and then I'm going to pull it through that loop, chain one to lock it into place, and then I'm going to connect it to the next loop on this side, okay? So front to back, and then I'm just going to do a slip stitch, okay? Now chain two, draw, draw it up just a little bit and hold on to it, go over here to the next loop, front to back, okay, and then I'm going to hook it back on and pull it through that loop, chain one to lock it into place, and then go here and connect it with a slip stitch into the next loop, okay, so I'm just going to see I'm like putting it together, okay, so chain two, Pull it up and go to find my next loop, which would be there, okay, front to back, hook, on, hook it back onto my loop, pull it up the slack, and then pull it through, chain one to lock it into place, and then front to back on the loop on this side, this next square, to connect it with a slip stitch, okay, chain two, keep doing that across, okay, so loop right there. All right, back to front on the next loop. Hook up your loop, pull it through, lock it into place with the chain, and then slip stitch into the the uh, loop on the other square. So, let's just keep working that same way until we get up to the corner up here, okay? And then connect it. Chain two. Go on to the next one. Chain to lock it into place. Slip stitch to connect it on the other side. Chain two. Draw it up. Go on to the next one. Hook it back on and pull it through. Chain to lock it into place. Slip stitch to connect it on that side. 
chain two. Go into the second to the last one right before the corner. Pull it through. Chain to lock it in place. Slip stitch into the corner loop, okay? Chain two. Okay, so now we need to find the corner loop over here. If you kind of pull them apart a little bit, you can see this. See, here was the, the corner loop on this one for round one, and so the corner loop for round two would be right there, right? Okay, so that's where we're gonna pull our loop through. So tighten it up, pull it through, okay? Lock it into place with a chain, okay? Now, I'm almost ready to go back into this corner, but I'm gonna check over here and see I have a corner loop here, but then if you look here with square number two, there, that's the corner loop from uh, round one, and round two, see, it's got a corner loop here. So what I like to do is, besides hooking onto this corner loop, I take my loop, my hook out, pull up the loop a little bit, take it out, hang on to it, and then I go ahead and go into that corner loop too, because see, we're gonna go along this side to connect these two together, see? So I want to go ahead and go into that corner loop Okay, and then pull it through there. Okay, and then I do another chain to lock it into place. And now I'm going to um, go into the corner, okay, of this, the newest square. Okay, okay, so now, see we have, let me zoom out, if I go the right way here, wait. See? Okay. So see, now we have four squares, and I've got this connected. Now I need to connect this side, see? And then we'll be finished, okay? So what I like to do is kind of work from the same direction. So I'm going to turn my squares this way, okay? So then I can connect across down that row, uh, uh, that line there, okay? So, <clears throat> so now... I've done the corner uh, loop, and now I'm going to chain two, and I'm going to start working down this way. Okay, so chain two, and then draw up a loop. Uh, well, I'm going to zoom up a little bit again, so then you can see what I'm doing there. Okay, so draw up a loop, hold on to it. Now we're going to find the second loop going down this side, which was right would be right there. Okay. And then you do front to back, just like always. Loop it onto your hook, pull it through, chain to lock it into place, and now we're gonna go into the second loop there, front to back, with a slip stitch to connect it, okay? Chain two, now we're gonna do the same thing across. Pull up the loop, I'll find the next loop, which is, oops, right there. <laughs> and then I'm going to hook it on, pull it through, chain one to lock it, and then I'll go into the next one to connect it. Okay, chain two, pull it up. I'm gonna go here for the next one, front to back. Lock it into place with the chain and then connect it with a slip stitch into the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna keep doing that. So let's see, whoops, the next one, it would be right there. and then connect it on this side. Slip stitch. Chain two. Go to the next one, which would be there. Pull it through. Lock it into place with a chain and then connect the slip stitch over on the other side. Lock it into place. Oops. And then slip stitch there. Okay. Now go to the second to the last loop on this side. Pull it through the loop. Chain to lock it into place. And now I'm going to go into this corner and slip stitch. Okay. Chain two. Now I'm going to have the last thing, which is the corner of this square. 
to, to connect them to, together. So I chain two. Now I'm going to pull the loop through from back to front and then lock it into place with one chain. And remember, this has got a four chain loop, so I'm going to chain one extra time and then I'm going to go back into that corner space with a slip stitch. Okay, now see, we've all we've done all four sides connected. Okay, oh, wrong way again. Sorry, see, so I got all four squares connected. Okay, so now all I need to do is finish this edge and get to where we started over here, and it's just going to be the basic, the basic um, side, no connecting or anything. Okay, so, um, so we're going to chain two. And we're going to go into the chain space with a slip stitch. Chain two, go into the chain space with a slip stitch. And you're going to do it all the way across. Chain two, slip stitch. 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 Okay, chain two, and then remember that we, we go into the corner, except the corner has already got our the beginning, the, the chain uh, slip stitch, chain four slip stitch. So we're going to slip stitch, but we're going to slip stitch into the first slip stitch, and that will complete the side. Okay, now I did get my scissors, so now I can. <laughs> show you how to finish off. I know, I'm sure you know how to finish off. You just do it however you like to do it. But I like to snip off a, a bit of my yarn there, snip off, you know, a few inches, and then I'm going to chain one, and then I'm just going to pull it all the way through. And then I pull it tight, okay, and then there is my, where I finished. Now, of course, I've got ends. I've got to sew in now. But that's how you do it. And so you only have two different ways that you do it is, is for whether or not, the way you do it, it depends on if you're only going to chain one side, uh, I'm sorry, if you're going to attach just one side or if you need to attach two sides, okay? So I'm hoping that this is not confusing to you. Uh, to me, it's, it's it, I think when I first learned it, I did think it was kind of difficult. Uh, but once you catch on to doing it, you can really do it pretty fast. Um, it does. It seem like it's difficult. It seems like it's more difficult to explain what to do <laughs> than actually doing it. So uh, give it a try. You can rewind the little sections and say, "Oh, now how did she do that?" You know. And um, I'm hoping that you didn't. I didn't just totally confuse you by the way I was describing things. Um, but I think that you. May, it may be a method that you will enjoy. I definitely enjoy doing this than having to do a whip stitch with a needle and a needle and yarn. Uh, I will put the squares together like that if I have to, but I'd much rather do it um, crocheting things together than um, having to sew them with the needle and yarn. But that's just me. Uh, so um, feel free to do it however you want to do it. But I just want to show you, this is my go-to method that I enjoy to do, uh, I enjoy doing um, when I put squares together, okay? So thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and um, hope to make more in the future. So we'll talk to you later. Bye!